had a pretty epic start to the week with lots of peaks, empty peaks. So just fueling up, literally and figuratively, for another session. <laughs> we'll see how we go later on. So fun. So perfect. Nice. One thing that surprised me about coming here to Nicaragua is how wild it is still. I expected there to be roads, that it, like paved roads uh, to the beach, you know, little car parks at the beach, and there was, it's just been so rustic uh, and even dilapidated in some areas. Uh, it really does inspire me to, to keep exploring because I think now with the internet and social media and, and everything, we sometimes presume that these places are kind of, they don't exist anymore. But uh, we, we're here, we've lived it, we've, we've had the beach to ourselves. It's such a stark contrast to what happens back home sometimes, what happens, you know, we've just been in LA, in LA and it's, it's so different, <laughs> you know. It's like, there you've got traffic, you've got paid parking, you've got uh, angry surfers, <laughs> you've got people everywhere whereas um, here it's just been this isolated amazing experience um, and you know it, it would be it would be cool to to keep it that way but uh, with with progress with uh, surfing always expanding and, and growing in popularity this might not happen you know, it might not continue hey bro even though I requested the re-delivery of those cameras they still haven't arrived to Scott's house, so a little bit concerned. Eek! <laughs> YouTube traveling life! <laughs> I seem to have two types of followers. I have people who want me to share locations where I've been surfing, and the other cohort who don't want me to share where I've been surfing. I've been erring on the side of not sharing where I go surfing for most of my um, career you could say or most of my time here on YouTube and Instagram unless it's a super famous spot so when I came here and surfed uh, the boom which I've already named uh, it's pretty much been blown up online by <laughs> certain resorts around the area it's, I thought it wasn't really a secret so that's why I chose to sort of share it uh, the rest of the locations I'll just keep to myself um, because there is part of that and I want to inspire people to go back to that sort of adventurous surfing spirit that inspired me when I was young. I remember seeing um, movies like Endless Summer, uh, Ulu 32, like guys surfing Uluwatu on their own in the early days, like crazy stuff like that. Uh, and it didn't incite like a jealousy in me, it just incited this um, sort of adventurous inspiration. And I found that um, that's what I want other people to do, you know, and I think new surfers don't always understand that. Uh, and when I say new surfers, people who are outside the core surfing culture, I, I feel like I have a, a foot in both camps. Uh, sometimes that cohort doesn't quite understand the nature of, of surf culture in that way in that it's kind of cool to have secret spots still. It's cool to go out and explore and come to these places and ask questions in the flesh and, and not know everything online. And I guess that's why I think in a lot of um, examples I don't share where we go surfing. You can do this super like I was saying. Uh oh. <laughs> we got the film camera out with no, the nerds. Like oh. this, that does like the little did it do a retro effect? Yeah, a little soft. Mmm. Hey. Did it just <laughs> This is kind of every every afternoon. Uh, we come down and, and go for a swim, watch the sunset. It's just such a perfect way to end each day. It's so nice. Dude, the forecast looks good the next couple of days. I think we're going to be getting some barrels. Oh, I love this place. <laughs> Spread out 
you know, sort of in front of the, the huts here. sun fried, I have bleached knee hairs, I have weird tan lines everywhere. <laughs> uh, these are all the signs of uh, someone who's surfed a lot um, over the past six weeks. It's been such a magic trip. Yes, I get to wear a wetsuit too. It's been so good to get just a, just a feast on tubes uh, almost every day, which has been I just, you can't describe that feeling of being totally satiated with, with waves. And yet, of course, still wanting more every single day. Uh, but as we pack up now and head to different parts of the world, um, I am looking forward to that. But I'm also definitely going to miss this place. Uh, and I'll definitely be back, hopefully, with some, with some more cool, exciting things to do. But yeah, for now, it's onwards to new fun locations. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Or as always, I appreciate your time, your presence here. I will speak to you guys soon. You. That was, I don't know what that was. It was like a... <laughs>